dude. It's on. Hi, I'm Emma, and this is Rebecca, and we are in the Timing Food Studios. Today, Rebecca is going to teach us how to make potato egg baskets, and these are perfect for spring. They're really fun, so we're going to do four variations on them. Yeah, so you just have a bunch of different mixtures. You can do a fourth a cup of potato mixture in each pan, or you can do two tablespoons of potato mixture mixed with two tablespoons of carrot, two tablespoons of potato mixture mixed with two tablespoons of beet, or two tablespoons of potato mixed with two tablespoons of shaved zucchini. So we're going to mix them. So basically there's just, what, a fourth a cup of mixture in each tin, yeah. right? Okay. So I'm just going to do the regular hash brown ones. We use prepared shredded hash browns. I'm going to put two tablespoons in these two, and then Rebecca's making the mixtures. So here's two tablespoons of hash brown mixture with two tablespoons of some shredded carrot, which is super fun for Easter brunch. And you're mixing it up in that bowl so you can get it incorporated? Yeah. Right? Okay. I'm just going to dump it in. And we greased this muffin tin before we started so that it doesn't stick in there while we're baking it. I've done mine too. <laughs> <laughs> the beet can get a little messy, so if you need to, you can put on some gloves to prevent from staining. But it makes a really gorgeous pink hue while you're making it. This is probably a really great way to get the kids to help to, to help put it together and then also to eat veggies because if it's mixed in with these hash browns, it's gonna taste really good. This is awesome. Yeah, so now we're just gonna go bake it for 30 minutes on 400 degrees. And then after they're done baking, really all that's left to do is to crack the eggs into each muffin tin. So Rebecca's gonna bring the ones that have already been baked that we prepared earlier. And move your ingredients off to the side. Yeah, so, so which, which is which here? These are the carrot ones, these are the beet ones, and this is the zucchini and a little parsley. So we're just going to crack an egg in a bowl. And you can just kind of scoop a little bit in there. So you want the whole yolk and then maybe not quite all of the white? Yeah. So you just continue to fill these up. <laughs> these are so easy, and I know I get tired of the same old brunch all the time. So this is a fun way to celebrate the first day of spring, which is this Sunday. Or you can just easily crack them in there, too, if you want. See how the, the white kind of sunk down into the mixture? That's interesting. If you're just joining us, we're making some egg baskets. Perfect for spring. And now we're just going to bake these for 15 minutes. Yay! So we also have one already baked that Rebecca's going to bring over here. And when they're finished, they look like this. And they're just Those perfect are gorgeous. little... Sprinkle some kosher salt and black pepper on top. Easy. Now, would you hold these and, and eat them handheld, or would you cut into them? I think you can probably do both. Anything. These are perfect for a spring brunch, Easter, or you can make them as grab-and-go kind of breakfast throughout the week. I love it. So easy and so healthy. We hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank and you. The recipes will be up on the blog.